We do begin tonight with that stunning moment in court, the high drama playing out in Georgia late today. The prosecutor who brought the case against Donald Trump and his alleged co-conspirators taking the stand herself to defend herself. The dramatic moment when D.A. Fonnie Willis showed up in the courtroom today insisting she wanted to testify, crossing the room there to the witness stand, taking the oath. On the stand, Willis was defiant, fielding questions about alleged misconduct. At one point, though, Willis telling the lawyer questioning her, you're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. But could Fonnie Willis be removed from the case? And what happens to the case against Trump if that happens? ABC's Steve Osinsami from Georgia tonight. Hey, Willis, how are you feeling about your testimony? In a stunning change of heart, the Fulton County prosecutor accused of profiting from hiring her lover to help lead the election interference case against former President Trump and 18 others, walked right up to the judge and said she was ready to testify. Oh my God. Fonnie Willis called the lawyer who called her here a liar. It is a lie. It is, it is gonna, a lie. Right. It's, it's highly offensive lies. when someone lies on you, and it's highly offensive when they it's try touch. to implicate that you slept with somebody the first day you met with them. Don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer. It is a rare event for a prosecutor to sit on the witness stand and take questions from the lawyers of clients she's trying to convict. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. The attorney for one of the defendants who's doing most of the digging here wants her client's case thrown out and is asking the judge to remove Willis from the election interference case because she enjoyed romantic getaways that were allegedly paid for by special prosecutor Nathan Wade, who Willis hired. He paid for the flight and the cruise on Royal Caribbean that time. So yes, he paid. He tells me how much it is and I give him the money back. If you tell me it's a G, then you're going to get $1,000. Whatever it is, I didn't ever make him produce receipts to me. Whatever he told me it was, I gave him the money back. Willis told the court that she paid Wade the money back, sometimes thousands of dollars in cash. You gave him cash before you ever went on the trip? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so when you got cash to pay him back on these trips, would you go to the ATM? No, lady. So the cash that you would pay him, you wouldn't get it out of the bank? I have money in my house. Willis says that she and Wade ended their romantic relationship in August of last year. It was his ex-wife who helped make the relationship public during their bitter divorce by sharing receipts of some of those trips with his boss. So all of the vacations that she took, she paid you cash for? Yes, ma'am. One of the big arguments is over when Willis and Wade started dating. The two say it was months after she hired him. But Willis's former friend and employee, who says she was forced to resign, you right hand, ma testified today through a video call that the two have been romantic since 2019, a year before the election. Did you observe them do things that are... Uh, in common among people having a romantic relationship? Yes. Such as, can you give us an example? Hugging, kissing. So let's bring in Steve Osinsami live from Georgia tonight. And Steve, aside from all of this that played out this afternoon on live television, the cable networks carrying it, uh, the bigger picture here, what happens if the DA is disqualified? Does the case against Trump and the alleged co-conspirators move forward here? Well, David, the state could assign the case to a different prosecutor who would then decide whether or not to move the case forward. But there are plenty of choices of prosecutors in the state of Georgia if you're looking for one who wants to stop this. Even so, it would still be a tall order to remove Willis from this case. David? We'll see. Steve Osasami leading us off here tonight. Steve, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.